Hey guys, I made an accidental mistake. So we're going to turn it into a learning experience. I'm sure you can see the mistake. It's right here. I finished this. It's the color changing yarn. It's Mandela. And I've already started the next square with this purple. So I had to go back and cut it out. I've already weaven, weaven, woven all my ends in, which is why I didn't just pull it apart and do it again. That would be my normal go-to, especially since it's on the very last round. If I had noticed it sooner, I would just pull it apart. But I've already tied it off. I've already woven all the ends in, and I just want to make one double crochet here to cover it, to fix it. So I've got my handy little sewing needle, my hook, the same hook that I had been using, and a small piece of yarn. It doesn't have to be long because we're just doing one double crochet. And all I'm going to do is it's called like a surface stitch because it's going on top or it's called like a standing double crochet if you've heard that term. And essentially we're going to pretend like this was attached to the project. So we're going to hold it and you have a loop on your yarn when you start and to do a double crochet, you loop it again. And now you put your finger here to hold them because you don't want them to slip away. So I'm pinching it here with my middle finger and up here with my index finger. And then I pretend like I was up here and I do my dropped double crochet. And I go through and I keep holding these tails so they don't get lost. And I'm going to also lock this one in. I'm just going to grab the back loop here before I do the second part of this double crochet. And I go under two loops. I know my, my first loop kind of disappeared a little. And that's, that's it. It's done. So we'll pull this all the way through because we want it. It's going to be like this. You have to be very careful that it doesn't fall apart as you're doing it. So these loops, these little tails, now we're just going to weave them in. And I like to start with this one first because it seems more likely to unravel. <laughs> and we are going to do better at weaving that in there. Come on, little yarn, you can do it. All right, it's a little messy. We got it through. Okay, so make sure that this one is gonna go this way. And you can be very particular or less particular depending on how you like it, but I like to go in the V and then around through this one and then back up the V. That's, that's secure-ish. You're going to pretend that this one is really holding on there. I'm just going to weave that final stitch down there just a little. Oops, my little tail is getting in the way. Let's pull that. And I'm going to weave in the ends. So I'm going to go this direction. Pull it through. And then I'm kind of going back on myself. If you can go right through the thread that you had just gone through and through some other fibers, not just stitches, go through some of the fibers because it'll help lock it all in place. Pull it this direction and you want to make sure that you're not puckering your fabric. You want the tension to be about the same. And then uh, I didn't leave myself too long of a tail here, but I'm going to go back in here because I have some thread to work with. Give it a little tug and now we're just going to do the same thing on this side. Is it less noticeable than a missed stitch? In my opinion, yes, because that white seems like it just really stands out to me. So this one I'm going to go, I don't know, under the V, back out the front, um, just through the top of the V. Then maybe this direction, you know, I'm just sort of weaving it in, trying to keep it not from making too many knots in the visible section, but you do want it to be, you know, stuck down. And this, you just have to weave this tail in. I like to move it towards the back of the project to finish because it's it's a little bit um, more okay if you can see it, right? So I go this direction, 
This is my tail from before. I should just trim that off. And then just keep going that same direction, going through some fibers. This tail is a bit longer, so I'll just keep going. That way I don't have all the yarn stacked up on top of itself from the first thread that I wove in and now this one. And I just do it a couple times. And then I finish off by going the other direction because make sure that this one goes through a different yarn. And that should keep it from coming apart. I've never had anything come apart. However, I guess I'm not that um, that many years into my process. So from what I've heard, if you weave it through the fibers, it should be good. And that's how I do it then. And now, can you tell which one it was? I can tell because this purple started getting darker already when because it was color changing. So my eyes definitely see that the darker purple is there, but it's way less noticeable than that glaring white stitch. And I think it's pretty fun. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>